some traumas you never heal. That's why people have scars. They're a reminder in their memory. There's something you get past, and there's something you live through, but at the end of the day, they're almost there. You don't party, you don't do all this crazy stuff. Like, you're in your 20s, like, go live and be right, free. Right. It's like, I could do that if I wanted to. Because yep. I have control over everything I do in my life, but there is so much out there. Why would I do what every other person is doing if I want a different outcome than everyone else has? Yep. That's just... Doesn't make sense. We all need to start from somewhere. And I'm glad I started earlier. And from the place I started, let me just give you a context on where I started from before I tell you where I am right now. Alhamdulillah to the place I am right now. I started from a place of not having a good relationship with my mom, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My relationship with my Lord was so bad, I'm telling you. <laughs> It is something to be ashamed of. There is one thing I actually struggle to show you because I don't want my intention to change and that is my reading Quran. Like the the routine I've cultivated for myself, the discipline I have with reading the Quran since Ramadan because I don't know if you listen to the podcast. Okay, by the way, if you don't know, I have a podcast. It is called Rio, Rio Podcast. You can find on all the platforms, even on YouTube. Damn. So I don't want my intention to change, but I've updated my podcast people and they know every single year there's a habit I try to cultivate or there's a habit I build during Ramadan. And then after that, that becomes part of me. And I try to track myself on how far I reach with the habit. And right now I can say I'm in a good place with my Quran reading, Alhamdulillah. Every single day I read with you. My book, my current read, I'm halfway through. And uh, actually before I tell you this, I wanted to share with you when I was reading, I'm just 21. I was finishing just 20 and it was Surah An-Naml. The last verses that caught my eye was that if you do any good, that is gonna save you. That is basically for your own. And you're going to be compensated or like you're going to be given something better. Like Allah is gonna reward you. If you do something good, if you do a good deed, then Allah is gonna reward you for something better. But if you do bad, you will be rewarded with bad. And that is basically going to hell. And uh, you, your face will face downwards of hellfire. And that was, it really struck me. And <laughs> my body was like, okay, now we need to do good, okay? Everything we do, we try to do good. We do good deed. So that it is just for our sake and it's not for Allah. That was the eye that caught when I was reading my Quran today. That is Surah Al-Naml, the last of us is. I think it's the last of us, something like that. And I wanted to share with you guys. So just keep in mind, if you do any good deed, you will be rewarded better. It's something better. And if you do a, what is it called, a bad deed, you will get it. You will get that in return. So that literally I'm glad I started earlier because when I was starting, I was starting from a place of curiosity and I wanted to be in a better place. I was working and I was training youth when it comes to mental health and all of that. But then the reality just one day decided to hit me and I was, I was so sad. I was honestly so sad. The only habit I can contribute to my sadness was my sins because I wasn't having a good relationship with my God, with my Allah. And it's all because of the sins I was doing and the kind of lifestyle I was living. Yes, I was working 
I was living a dream that an 18 year old person was not living. But I fell into depression for one reason, no, for two reasons. One was because of trauma, PTSD literally hit me hard. Another thing was because of my sins. As I told you, my relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wasn't, wasn't good. And what do we expect as a human being? Eh? When our relationship with our creator is not good, definitely life is not going to be good. And I just woke up one day, I was like, I cannot continue like this. I work in a mental health field and I am in a bad place. I'm struggling with my mental health. So I need to change something. I woke up in the middle of the night. I prayed two raka'ats. And those two raka'ats was one for Toba. Like in Islam, like if you're not Muslim and you're watching me, I, I prayed two units of prayer for repentance. And the other two unit was uh, tahajjud, the daily night prayer we pray. So, and then I took an oath. The oath was between me and my rub. And if you listen to, if you came across one of the my podcasts, you you have heard about this one. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> why I'm stuttering, but like this is such a very a heavy moment for me. And that is when everything started for me. That is when I started changing. When I was started considering my habits on the things I need to get rid of, on what I need to read, what I'm watching the people I'm going to surround myself with and all of these things just came down to me at once but I did not take the steps at once so I just started I repented the first thing I fixed was the relationship with my lord that was the most important thing and when I fixed my relationship with my lord everything else then started clicking back together everything started sticking together we are all healing from something we want to improve our lives we want to better ourselves we want to achieve our dreams i don't know what you're going through but sometimes we just need to start from somewhere and today's episode is all about it doesn't matter what you're going through you just need to take the courage and you need to start from somewhere give your inner child a permission to pause and unload and you will not heal, you will not transform, you will not change your life if you don't take the first step, if you don't start earlier. If you started today, you will appreciate yourself you started. But if you don't start today, you will wish you had started earlier. Just like me, I'm glad I started earlier. See you in the next episode.